What is the process of innovation like when a designer leads it? Can we think of a step-by-step -step process from idea to final solution? Yes, we can. Although the process is iterative, we may trace the journey of a design idea through several stages before it can lead to a final solution. I have found it useful to think of these steps in terms of the seven concerns of the innovation process. What you call Chakku's seven C's. Yes, the seven C's are all about concerns for innovation. It is with the help of these seven concerns that I walk my students through the innovation process. So what are these seven C's? Let me now take you to my classroom where I introduce these seven C's of innovation through detailed case studies. Wonderful! Professor Chakravarti will now take you through a number of case studies and offer you insights into each of these concerns. Let us enter the world of innovation by design. Good morning all of you. Uh, today I would like to quickly show you uh, this uh, very small case study on how we actually looked at this whole issue of innovation uh, in a real life domain. This came in Mumbai Mirror, uh, additional commissioner of police at that time, Mr. Sadanand Date, uh, a close friend of ours, sent this picture to me and said, Professor Chakruti, can we do something? Our policemen are stationed for 18 to 20 to 4 hours sometimes at a stretch when there is a VIP movement. They are on that duty all along the road for that many number of hours and it is very taxing. So they need to have you know some type of rest and you know some of them use a stick to support themselves and later on get hurt. So we went very systematically. The first concern being the cause where we go deep into the issues of the problem in hand and also feel for the problem. That's very important work on uh, design or innovation. 